What is good? We're back with the Madden 06 Browns franchise, and we got the game of the week coming today. We're traveling to Jacksonville, a.k.a. Duval. We're sitting at 11-1, and we have that wide because we've already locked up the division. You feel me? Yeah, because the next best team is the Steelers. They're 5-7. and seven. The Bengals and the Steelers are both 5-7. and seven. The Ravens are 4-8. and eight. Eagles and Packers are 10-2 in the NFC, so they're holding it down over there. So that's the NFC standards for you in there. My bad, excuse me. No, the Bengals are 6-6. Six and six, The Steelers are 5-7. and seven. So even if the Bengals win their next four games, we lose our next four. We still are going to have the better record. So just a refresher of who the Jaguars have. Dante Hall will not be playing. He's questionable, which is 50-50. But usually in this game, all the questionable guys never play. I've, like, never seen a questionable guy play. I've seen a probable guy play, of course, you know. That's like a 75% chance, but a questionable guy, nah. So still got that solid defensive line intact. Al Wilson's still a middle linebacker. They got Robinson, Bryant, Mike Brown, Will Demps. So they got some guys. You know, they're known for their defense. We're known for our defense. That's the way it was season one anyway. So, sunny day, beautiful day in Jacksonville. So, let's get to it. Let's start this game, you know what I mean? And we're going to start. You can see all the other teams played. So, the next best is 6-7. and seven. So, Pittsburgh's trying to give everybody a run for their money. Pittsburgh has never made the playoffs in this series. They're trying to get in for once. The Bengals have, the Ravens have. I think the Ravens made it season one, and then they dipped from the playoffs. Bengals have made it as the wild card a few times. Right here on the first play, Sean Taylor with the interception. Chad Pennington's going to overthrow his tight end, and we get the ball. So there we go. We get the ball straight to the second half. We're getting it right away as they turn the ball over. Rodgers finds Antonio Gates. So far, so good. That's going to be a first down. Ronnie Brown gets the handoff right there, gets a couple yards. Okay, we're up to about like the 25. Play action now. Rodgers rolling to his right, trying to find somebody to go to. Takes too long to throw it. Lofts it up. Horrible decision. And it's picked off by Jason David. And David's going to get the Jaguars taken over at the 30-yard line. And then Dominic Davis gets lit up by Sean Taylor. Ball is out. And Demarcus Ware recovers. Oh, my gosh. That's the second week in a row somebody's gotten lit up and coughed up the ball because of Sean Taylor. We take a shot to the end zone. That's incomplete. Looking for Randy Moss. Second down and 10. Hand off is the Liddell Betts now. He's going to lower his shoulder. He's up to about the 25-yard line. Third and very short. Rodgers looking to throw. Rolling. Throws the dig. Terrell Jones brings it in. First down for Cleveland. Now we get the ball to Ronnie Brown. He's going to bounce it outside. Lowers his shoulder. Bodies a man. He's still going. He's down at the two-yard line. We give it to Ronnie Brown on second down. He breaks the tackle. He's in the end zone. We score first. We're up 7 nothing. Davis on first down is going to get a couple yards before he's brought down by Lofa Tutupu. Second down, we whiff on that hit stick, but it's okay because we have Lofa Tutupu to make us right. Play action now on third down. Chad Pennington does a little 180, lofts it up the right side of the field, and we're going to knock that away, almost picked off by Ed Reed. They end up getting the ball back as we go three and out. Right there is Dominic Davis, two-yard gain. Chad Pennington looking to throw on second down. He's going to find Evans out of the backfield, the fullback. First down handoff is the Davis. Going left and right, trying to find somewhere to go. Gets a solid game. Second and inches, we try to send Ed Reed on a blitz. He gets pancaked. They find Bishop, and that's going to be a first down for Jacksonville. First and goal now for them. Davis, he's running to the right side. Nobody even touches him as he gets into the end zone and ties the game up. So now we get the ball to Ronnie Brown, trying to answer right back. Ronnie Brown gets a first down. There we go. We hand it to him again, basically the same play. He's going to get up to about the 44-yard line. Second and one. Rodgers looking to throw. Gets it away to Greg Jones, who can't bring it in. Wide open, you can't bring it in. Come on, man. Third down, we give it to Ronnie Brown, who's going to pick up the first down for us. He's going to make us right. So now we're up to about the 50 Rogers looking, takes too long to go to Moss, tries to go to Stallworth, and Stallworth can't bring it in. I thought he was going to bring it in. We put it right on the money. You know, Rogers is known for his overthrows. He puts it on the money. You got to catch it. You know what I mean? Right there, Booker was offsides on second down, so we just say, screw it, third and short. We can get it, and we're going to give this little fullback trap play to Greg Jones. Honestly, should have just bounced it outside. He would have had a much bigger game, but it's okay. 
first down's a first down. That's what we wanted, and that's what we prioritized. Rodgers drilled as he's letting it go. Intercepted by Al Wilson. Oh, man, that's the second one already today. First down, Dominic Davis. He's going to get up to about the 50-yard line, he's knocked down. Darnell Dockett must have stepped wrong or something. His ankle's hurt. I believe he comes back, though. Douglas makes the catch, holds on. That's a first down for Jacksonville. Trying to set up the screen for Davis. Chad Payton says, screw it, we knock it away. Second down now, Davis. He's going to be brought down around the 44-yard line. Third and eight coming up. Pennington looking to throw. Moves in the pocket. Takes a shot down the field. Givens gets behind Hunter. And Hunter can't bring him down as David Givens is in the end zone. We are down bad at corner. As you know, Shepard and Samuel are out. So we're a little down bad. Second down right there, though. Ronnie Brown, beautiful gain on the ground. Throws a stiff arm, and he goes out of bounds. It's a first down for Cleveland. Rodgers play action, looking to throw. Dumps at the Gates on the delayed route. The late uh, Gates is going to get the, uh, what he can on the delayed route. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. Oh, my goodness. Lord, help me. Third down now after that. Rodgers looking to throw. Moving. Finds Willie Parker. Willie Parker gets stone hands right there. And, yeah, we have to punt because of that. Dominic Davis, he takes a shot from Sean Taylor right there. Held on to the football this time, though. Heath Evans trying to make some stuff happen with the run. I think he gets the first down right there. Nope, third and inches. Chad Pennington, I don't know how that worked. He did some crazy stuff in the back, but then just throws the ball before he gets sacked, and it works. Pennington looking, finds Bishop this time. So coming up on the one-minute mark. Pennington looking, he gets sacked. There we go. They have to take a timeout. Third down, Pennington looking to throw again. Scanning the field. He's going to get it away. Underthrown. Picked off by Trufant. We hit him as he was letting it go. And we're going to get some solid field position with a chance to do something. Ronnie Brown on first down. That's not going to work. Second down, 11 coming up. Play action. Rodgers gets to get it away with the blitz. Greg Jones can't bring it in. It's his second drop today. Third down now. Willie Parker. They're on it. And we're going to get what we can. Jacksonville decides not to take a timeout. So we milk the time down so they can't score. And we're going to just take a heave to the end zone. We decide we have the best numbers. We have the most height over there. The ball doesn't even get close to the end zone. Vincent Jackson does bring it in, but it doesn't matter. It's just going to pad his stats, and we go to halftime down seven. So we get the ball to start the second half. That's good. Rogers looking, looking for Gates. That's underthrown. Picked off by Dante Robinson, and we got to get Rogers out of here. This is terrible. Absolutely terrible throwing all these picks. So we put in JT O'Sullivan after this because we can't do a darn thing with this quarterback just lofting passes up and throwing picks. And that's always been our MO against the Jaguars. I think Jag this team, especially the Jaguars, this defense has his number. Rodgers, for sure. When we, put, when we have Michael Vick, it's not a problem. And right there, Sean Taylor says it's not a problem. I got this guy's number. I got Chad Pennington's number. He gets the pick right there. That's his second of the game. He's got a forced fumble and two picks, man. He's balling out. What a waste of a good game from him if we don't win this game. That'll be terrible. Ronnie Brown, he's going to reverse field. Bounces off a tackler and still going. That's going to be a first down for Ronnie Brown. Nice play right there, making do with what he can. Looking for Greg Jones is JT O'Sullivan. He's going to find him. Greg Jones spins upfield. We got a first down, JT O'Sullivan. Every time he comes in, he throws a pass, he gets drilled, and he's hurt. Like, every time he gets touched, he gets hurt. It's unbelievable. So now look who's back in. He probably has a low morale because you know how he gets when things don't go his way, Aaron Rodgers. Yes, even to this day in real life, when things don't go his way, we know how he gets. We do throw it away right there. That's a smart play. Third down now, Rodgers looking to throw, looking right side, and just throws it over everybody's head. We're lucky that wasn't another pick by Dante Robinson. Kick is up by Matt Bryant. Can we get it? No, just short. And so Davis fumbles on the ensuing possession, so it's going to be challenged. And we're going to see that's angled. That really doesn't do any justice. So we'll see right here. Yeah, it's hard to tell if you go by forearm or knee. Yeah, you can't really tell on that one. We did recover it, though, I will say that. The ref's going to go ahead and give them the ball back and overturn it. So, Jacksonville ball at the spot, at the dead spot. Send in the second tight end in motion. They run a drop play to Davis. He's going to bounce it outside. And if we missed that tackle right there, he would have scored. Right here, Davis on third down. He's going to get the first down, and Jacksonville is going to keep it going. 
JT Ozolvin, he will come back. He's just a little banged up. Took a shot to his shoulder, a little bruise. He's going to be all right. Pennington, he gets drilled right there. That's going to be a sack. Second and 13 coming up. Pennington looking left side. Now right side, back to the left. Now he's just chilling. Too much time. Can we get somebody there? Finally, we get him. He goes down. Great coverage. Pass rush. Pick it up because we can't have Chad Pennington just chilling, sipping a cup of coffee, waiting to throw the ball. Right there, David Givens gets whacked. He can't bring that one in. First and 15, we get a delay of game penalty, which is totally my fault. Take 100% responsibility for it. And then we get sacked, so now we're in deep crap. We got to do something. Ronnie Brown, he's going to try his best. Bulls man over. Keeps on going. So now he makes it about like third and 15 again. 17, excuse me. So Sullivan has to try to do something. And he's just going to throw it up and hope for the best. And we're lucky that it isn't picked off. And that's going to be fourth down with the punt. Pennington looking to throw. Ed Reed on the blitz. He's going to get the sack. I can't remember if that was even a planned or unplanned one. I think that one was actually unplanned, but we were moved up in the box. So I said, screw it. Let's just go. See what happens. Right there, I thought we had a pick, but nope. It's just a catch done drop. We jar the ball loose with the hit. Davis, he's not slick. We saw that coming a mile away. And yeah. And then Liddell Betts is going to cough up the ball. He's over there in relief of Asante Samuel. That's why we put him back there. Samuel's hurt. And he muffs the ball. They recover. So now look at this uh, yeah, field position. And they're up a touchdown. They're in a great spot. And it's the fourth quarter. Unbelievable. And Dominic Davis. Dominic Davis bounces outside. He tries to extend the ball for the touchdown, but he can't break the plane. So on first and goal, Pennington throws to the end zone. Douglas has it. That's going to be a touchdown. Jacksonville takes a 14-point lead. O'Sullivan, he's getting sacked. Can't get the pass away. Sets up second and 17. Give the ball to Ronnie Brown. He's going to bounce it. Lowers his shoulder. What a nice run. Make it a third and pretty manageable. Will Demps is hurt because he just got bowled over and weight roomed. And we have no luck there with that run with Ro uh, Ronnie Brown. So fourth down, we pick our guy on the all hitches, and Vincent Jackson just drops it. So, beautiful field position again for the Jaguars. At this point, what can you do? You just fight, fight, fight till the last three zeros hit the clock. I don't know. Shoot. Oh, man. Third and one. Davis gets stuffed. So, then they have to kick the field goal, which was easy money for this guy. Right down the middle, pretty much. So, we got some work to do. A lot of work to do in very little time, so... We're going to do our best and see what we can do. O'Sullivan in the pocket. Can't even get passes off. Our O-line is just getting beat like they stole something, man. You all, you know, I'm starting to think that Michael Vick just made them look good when we play the Jaguars all these times over the years because this is just bad. At that point in time, we were just trying to throw it up and see if we get something going. We end up throwing a pick, and that's going to be game. And in this misery, thank the Lord, that was a misery. Look at this, 62 passing yards. That is terrible. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Probably, honestly, our best bet should have been just, you know what, even if we lost yards, just keep going with Ronnie Brown. You know what, screw it. But, nope. Trying to throw it. Because I felt like, you know, if we can run it enough, it'll open up the pass game. Didn't quite work that way. It is what it is. So, we can only hope that we see this team again in the playoffs and we let them know we bust their behinds in the playoffs. Because we're going to have Michael Vick back, a uh, guy willing. So, yeah couple more weeks almost there but Rodgers has done a decent job filling in this time much better than the last time when he was a rookie so you know we're gonna be all right we'll be all right it was a waste of a good game from Sean Taylor though with the two picks and the forced fumble a few tackles so what can you do At the end of the day it is what it is we got the Bills next at home so we'll be playing them trying to bounce back from this major L so that's it I'm out holla